Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1203 Division Street here in Oregon City. Located on the rooftop, <coughs> going through a four inch cast iron vent. Going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running up ahead. Here we go. We're going to keep the camera moving quickly to get through all the turns in the crawl space. Transitions here at 34 feet over to, it looks like, 6-inch terracotta clay pipe. I think we may have some orange bird pipe right here at about 40 feet out. The bottom of the pipe there is very, uh, it starts to deform and, and take the shape of all the ground around it. The flow line on that section there was terrible looking. And then it transitions over to 6 inch schedule 3034 PVC pipe here at 47 feet out. And here at 71 feet out, we have reached the main lateral. I'll figure out what street that goes out to when I start doing some locates here. We're losing some uh, our daylight, so we're gonna. I'm gonna reel back here until we get to the uh, transition from terracotta to PVC pipe, and we'll let the line drain out here for a few minutes so we can have a good look at all that pipe there. But it, it's looking like the uh, the vast majority of the terracotta and orange bird portions of the line are in very, very rough condition. But all the uh, Schedule 3034 PVC pipe here is all in great condition and flows properly. I guess is that transition to PVC probably happens at the street. That the uh, all the clay pipe in there, unless there's just a, a ton of debris sitting in the flow line, looks like most of the clay pipe has settled and the, causing standing water. And then the Orangeburg section is a tar paper product that was banned in the late 50s because it is extremely prone to failure. It it will always fail. It just ends up getting crushed by the ground around it. Everything on earth is able to intrude through it. No, it's uh, just a type of pipe that needs to go.
Alrighty, located here, the line is actually going out to the side street. It's coming out the left, the line's coming out the left side of the house and going out to the street directly to the, the left. And I'll get the name of that here in a moment. Uh, we're, the, we're, the line is currently at is right where the property meets the street, right at the street edge, uh, marked with a big white X. It is raining. Hopefully it sticks around. Um, and it's four feet, seven inches deep there. Here's our Orangeburg pipe. You can see the flow line is just completely destroyed here. It looks like it's broken out of the bottom. You've got dirt and rocks coming in. Um, the clay pipe beyond the Orangeburg here is actually in pretty good condition. Uh, but when you've got to start replacing this much pipe, um, you might as well just take care of all of it. You're getting, this looks like we've got dirt pouring into the sewer line here. That doesn't even look like foul debris. That right there is also a big piece of pipe that's broken away from the line sitting in the middle of the flow line there. No, it's just a, it's an old line that it's time for a, for an update at this point. I'm going to do another marking right here. Hey, we are right here in the entrance of the crawl space, actually within the crawl space well. I have the big white line in there showing the direction the pipe's headed. Uh, as well, it looks like it's two feet deep there. And you can see the line here is is just waiting to back up. That's a 100% blockage my camera just went through there. So you could try and do some drain cleaning to clear that out of there. Uh, it's possible it's just a mass of debris that's sitting in the flow line. Um, it's kind of up to you to decide whether you're going to do that. You could have damaged pipe underneath that. Uh, it could just be a, a mass of debris. So kind of have to decide which way you want to go. You can drain clean and then you'd have to re-scope to see if there's an underlying issue causing that debris to build up. But it's it's not too terribly far inside the crawl space there. It's probably within a few feet of the crawl space entrance, but you would have to crawl inside to fix that. Now this particular area right here is probably only about, or I had to push back out to gauge that, that's about two to three feet inside the crawl space there. So you could uh, go ahead and just dig it up and fix it. You could do some drain cleaning and rescope it to see if there's an underlying issue. Personally, I would say just fix the thing. Um, there's so much, there's a, about a 15 foot or so section outside the house that needs to be fixed, and it's right in line with all that. So it would be pretty congruent to do those together. I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera out. I recommend a rescope after the repair is done to ensure it was done correctly. I also recommend installing an exterior cleanout so the roof vent doesn't have to be used. I wasn't able to get the uh, side street here for the video, but anyway, the line's heading straight out that direction there to the side street, straight to the left of the house.